The Fox 45 News has obtained new video of the brawl that broke out Friday between City College and Poly High School, two big rivals in the city. The two schools have now been disqualified from the state playoffs. Keith Daniels has details of what happened. Well, the city poly rivalry has been called one of the city's biggest high school football rivalries. And tonight, when it comes to the playoffs, a big blow to both teams. The MVP of the game, number one for Baltimore City College. Led Celebration before the confrontation. City College High School and Baltimore Polytechnic Institute at home with Field at Johns Hopkins University Friday. City won 24-16. But in the end, both sides lost after a fight at the end of the game. Now, both teams suspended from the state playoffs. Some students stunned. I mean, personally, that sucks for the school overall. I'm kind of bummed because I love football. I really, really do, but it is what it is. What does that mean, it is what it is? Like consequences, things happen. I think it's fair, honestly, the way they reacted, both on the poly and city side. Even, even if it hurts to say, it's fair, they fought. In a letter to parents of students at both high schools, Tiffany Bird, director of athletics, and John Davis, chief of schools, said the fight involved players, other students, and community members. They say, quote, unfortunately, fighting and poor sportsmanship cannot be tolerated and there are clear consequences. But at City, there were a select few of skirmishes that broke out. One member of the varsity football staff believes the punishment may not fit the offense. Coach Anthony Pay says no players were involved, just coaches from both sides. But players are being punished. I feel like it was a blanket decision and not really reviewed or looked at it the way it needed to be looked at. There's video footage that shows that kids aren't fighting. Instead, he says the kids were trying to break up the brawl. Still, playoff streams deferred. It really is unfortunate that we had to sit out. Yeah, it's a little bit upsetting. Well, while the playoff game forfeiture is final, school officials say more consequences could come. They say they're reviewing more video and other accounts of the incidents and say they will discipline students and adults if necessary. Reporting tonight, Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News. In September, a large fight broke out in Montgomery County after a football game. Five young people were charged in that incident. The athletic director for Gaithersburg High, as well as two coaches with Northwest High, have been fired. The teams were also suspended. In Baltimore, Edmondson West Side and Patterson High Schools were suspended for a game earlier this season following similar fights.